OMG, welcome back to my channel. So excited you are here. Thank you so much for clicking onto this video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn. I'm outside of the CVS. I feel like I'm way too close to the phone. <laughs> I'm outside of the CVS getting ready to do my Monday CVS haul. If you are new and you just found me, so very happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know you are new right down there. I would love to welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. Any newbie CVS couponers, I do have a link down in the description box where I have a whole video series teaching you all about couponing at CVS from like very beginning when you start a new account, uh, all the lingo that we use as CVS couponers, all the way up to a more advanced pairing CRTs together, how to use self-checkout when you are using paper coupons, like I walk you through step-by-step -step how to do that, all of that good stuff. So, uh, I received a threshold coupon in my email, not on the accounts I normally do on one of my other accounts. It seems like I get that like once a month on that account. So, so incredibly grateful. I did get an email threshold coupon this week. The other accounts are still getting just the percent off, which those have a place if you want to use them. I just don't like using them often. Um, unless I'm going to gain all the money back in, in rebate money. So anyways, I know we had a big old glitch yesterday. It was a good one. I did not come to CVS. <laughs> I found out about it pretty early in the morning, actually. I was editing and saving my Walgreens video and I was watching, I think it was Brie, uh, Brie the Coupon Queen, and she so showed that she got a $30 extra buck for doing spending 45 on the household deal. I was like, holy crap, that's happened before at CVS where the extra bucks double, um, weird glitch. Y'all know, I don't do run deals. <laughs> I don't do run deals. I don't come to CVS on Sunday. I didn't come. I contemplated it only because trash bags were included. But when I looked online, um, my store was all sold out of the size that I would have wanted. So I was like, eh, it's not gonna be there on Monday. No big deal, which they have fixed it. And I believe if you did get a $30 extra buck or a $20 extra buck, if you got a double the extra buck, uh, it's been lowered down if you didn't already use it. So even though it might say 30 when you scan it or send it to cart, it's only gonna take off the 15. So anyways, I don't do run deals, it's okay. I'm here on Monday to do my couponing. I hope y'all scored, cause that was an awesome little glitch happening. Um, that's all I got to say. We got a few good deals happening this week. A few things I was excited about and uh, we're gonna run in and get some some deals this week if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up i appreciate you so much let's go grab some awesome deals happy monday we are in the cvs getting ready to do some awesome deals i'm going to be shopping on a couple of different cards today i did receive on the bottom of my receipt last week a two dollar off when you spend twelve dollars so I thought the all in snuggle deal was the perfect deal to add to this. These are on sale for $3.99 and they are on promotion for spend 12, earn back $3 in extra bucks. I like used up all of my all coupons when Kroger had them on sale and we had Ibotta rebates and they were a moneymaker. I only had one left. So I'm gonna grab one all and I'm gonna grab two of the snuggle dryer sheets. You can also get the snuggle um, fabric softener. My store does not carry the scent beads. I'm going to use these two $1.50 coupons off the Snuggle and the $1.50 coupon off of the All. These are expired and my store does accept expired coupons. So these three total $11.97. So I'll be able to use this two off of 12 that printed on the bottom of my receipt last week. After all coupons, I'll be left to pay $5.47 and earn back a $3 extra buck. Makes them 82 cents each, which I think is a great price. All right, now we're gonna work on the email threshold coupon I received. I got an eight off of 40, so excited. And of course I'm going for my favorite toilet paper, the Purple Cottonelle. They are on sale for $10.49 each this week and they are on promotion for spend 20, earn back $5 in extra bucks. 
I do have a Fetch Rewards bonus for spend 30, earn back $3.50. We'll have to see if it tracks the retail value as it has been doing at CVS. But I'm gonna use these two $1 paper coupons off of these. And I think the retail value of these are like $16.49. So if Fetch tracks that, then I will get that $3.50 back from Fetch as well. And I'm gonna use my Care Pass to pay for this. I pay $5 to get $10, so that's a free $5 every month. So that'll take off an extra $5. And I love using my Care Pass for paper products, diapers, or laundry products. Uh, next to this transaction to get me up to 40, I'm gonna add the CoverGirl deal. They are on promotion for, for buy three, earn back nine. And my store restocked the cheapest, um, eyeliner, the perfect blend, that are $4.99 each. And I'm going to use these three $3 eye coupons off of the CoverGirl. So these three will total me $14.97. I have $9 in coupons. I'll pay $5.97. Earn back a $9 extra buck makes them free plus a 303 moneymaker. I did not send the instant coupons to my card last week since they have not been extending. But when I did send one to my card this week, it was extending. Is this new or was this happening already and I didn't know about it? So hopefully things are starting to change for the better. Uh, I'm going to add to this transaction the L'Oreal. They are on sale two for nine and they are on promotion for buy two, earn back a $2 extra buck. And for these, I'm going to use the $4 paper coupon. You can search coupontom.com to find out what insert any coupon comes from. I do believe we have printables available as well. And we also have a matching digital that will glitch and come off. So that'll drop me down to $1 for these two. Earning back $2 makes them free plus a dollar moneymaker. So for this transaction, I have the two Cottonelle, the two L'Oreal, and the three CoverGirl. That totals me $44.95. So I'll be able to use this eight off of 40 that I received in my email. That's going to drop me down to $17.95. But I've got a free $5 with my Care Pass, which is going to drop me down to $12.95. And I'll earn back a total of $16 in extra bucks. Makes everything free plus a 305 moneymaker. Whenever I can get my favorite toilet paper for free, I am so happy. And if I get that 350 back from Fetch, it'll make it just over a $6 moneymaker. All right, I am gonna do one deal using a percent off coupon. Uh, we've got select products on sale for spend 15, earn back a $5 extra buck. And the Moderma Cold Sore is included. These are priced at $21.49 in my store. So since it's regularly priced, I'll be able to use this 32% off coupon. And I'm also gonna use this $8 paper coupon. So the percent will come off after all coupons have been applied. So it will take 32% off of $13.49, which is $4.32. I'll be left to pay $9.17, earn back a $5 extra buck, and submit to Ibotta for an $8 rebate back. Gonna make it a $3.83 moneymaker. And of course, I brought one of my Activate Reward Visa cards with me to pay for my out-of-pocket as I usually do at CVS. But OMG, you guys have to let me know if this has happened to you. If you've been following along, you know I do these deals every single time they come around. And because I shop for multiple households, I do them on multiple households. So the limit for these deals is two. Well, my mom, I do it on her household. And my mom gave me two Visa cards that she got in the mail very recently. And I haven't submitted the new Be Prepared for her yet. And I was like, wow, did I forget that I had not received from the Winter Wellness two cards? That seems weird. The next day, two cards showed up in the mail for me. Uh, I know I already received my Be Prepared or my Winter Wellness cards from the last promotion. Then guess what? I submit for my daughter's household as well. She got two dang cards in the mail as well. Uh, so I have an extra $60 in Visa cards that I had already received. Oh my gosh. Let me know if that has happened to you from the winter wellness uh, uh, rebate thing that we just recently had. So dang crazy. Uh, all right. So when I did my first transaction with the all, 
another two off 12 printed on my receipt. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this awesome laundry deal. It includes a bunch of different P&G laundry products. They are on sale for $5.49 each and buy three are back a $5 extra buck. Ah, this is my favorite scent beads, but I do really like the Gain scent beads. Both of these are included. I'm gonna grab the Gain liquid, the Gain scent beads, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a Tide pod. So these are all part of the deal and I have a $1 digital coupon on the app for all of them. So they'll cost me $16.47, so I'll use the new two off 12 that just printed off my receipt. After all coupons, I'll pay $11.47 for these, earn back a $5 extra buck. So it makes my cost about $2.15 for each laundry item. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the cover girl on this card as well. Since it's like a $3 moneymaker, I'm just gonna repeat the same exact deal that I did um, with my eight off of 40. That'll help me pay for my laundry products a little bit. So once again, I'm grabbing three of the 499 ones and I'm gonna use three of the $3 paper coupons and these will be a three oh something moneymaker, 303 moneymaker, cause I'll get back a $9 extra buck. All right, I've got a couple of Fetch Rewards bonuses for the Axe products. Uh, these are on sale, buy one, get one half price and on promotion for buy two, earn back $3 in extra bucks. I'm going for the body wash. They are $6.79 each. So that totals me $10.18. On Fetch Rewards, I have a $2 back when I buy two. And I also have a $1 back with a limit of five on the body wash. So I should get back $4 from Fetch. And I'm gonna use these two paper coupons for $2 off. So I'll pay $6.18, earn back $3 in extra bucks and $4 from Fetch. Makes them free plus an 81 cent moneymaker. Okay, I'm gonna do a little splurge deal because I think my girls will love these. Uh, Sally Hansen, our spend 15, earn back $6 in extra bucks. And I have been so curious about these. It, it takes two. So I'm going to grab one in a color that I think they would like. These are priced at $11.99 each. Uh, I have the $3 instant coupon for Sally Hansen that we all got. Uh, and to get me up to um, $15, I'm going to grab this product for $4.19. So these two total me $16.18. Using that $3 instant coupon, which that's the one where I sent it to my card and see the expiration date is now next Monday. So it did extend out a full seven days. Let me know if that's been happening for you. Uh, so I'll pay $13.18 for these. Receive back a $6 extra buck. Then I'm going to submit to Ibotta. For $3 back on the It Takes Two and $1 back on the other one. So it's going to make my cost $3.18 for both of these. All right, this is going to complete my Monday CVS haul. Let's head to the kitchen table and go over these receipts. All right, we are back at the kitchen table with this Monday CVS haul. And we have a sleepy boy over there. Oh, OMG, there's Clark snoozing away. Oh, I got to show you what happened. Some of y'all might think this is really gross, but I was so excited. If you don't like teeth or baby teeth, just fast forward the video. Uh, when I got home from CVS, I was playing fetch with Clark. We were throwing around his little chicken that's laying right there. And something popped out of his mouth and I picked it up. Oh my gosh, it was one of his baby teeth. Look at that. <laughs> my girls are going to be so excited. I never saw any of Gus's baby teeth when Gus lost his teeth. They probably just like swallow them or something. So I don't know. We're probably going to have to plan for maybe the tooth fairy to come. I have all, all of my girls... <laughs> <laughs> baby teeth. <laughs> I don't know why I keep them. They're sentimental. So I got one of Clarky's little baby teeth. Oh my gosh. All right. Enough about my little Clark. Let's go over these receipts. So, oh, I didn't even add up. Usually I like to tell you. One, 20, 30. I got about $136 in product today. Uh, did a few different receipts, so let's go over these receipts. Um, everything worked out just fine. This was my first one, my all, where I used that two off 12 that I had received last week. 
used all three of my paper coupons, $5 and extra bucks. I paid a subtotal of 34 cents and I earned back my $3 extra buck. Then, oh, I just dropped my receipt. Okay. Then I did um, the Moderma. I used that 32% off in my $8 coupon. So I paid $9.17 in the subtotal. And I earned back my $5 extra buck. And I used that Activate Rewards Visa card. I actually brought two with me this time. Uh, but oh, so curious. When my mom gave me the two cards, I was like, Wow, did I really forget that I hadn't received the winter wellness cards? Um, they were really, really delayed. But I didn't think too much about it because a few of you had commented that your winter wellness took extra long to get to you in the mail. My friend Vanessa over at Couponing with Vanessa said she never received her winter wellness cards and she had to contact the company and they issued her virtual cards. So I thought, well, maybe something was just happening and, you know, kind of like put a reminder to myself, Jody, maybe you should start writing these down on paper so that if you don't receive something, you actually are keeping track of it because usually I just use my brain because I remember stuff like that. But I was like, wow, I can't believe I didn't realize I didn't get those two cards. Then the next day, two showed up in the mail for me. And I was like, oh, no, I know I got mine in the mail. I've already used them. And then I got two more. And then two more showed up at my daughter's house. OMG. There must have been something happening with that promotion where maybe that's why people's cards were delayed or they didn't receive them like my friend Vanessa and I don't know if they just reissued all of them. I don't know. I didn't even count it as free money, although it is. It's like 60 dang dollars that I got in Visa cards. So anyways, curious if, if you got the extra. Somebody commented yesterday on my video and said, uh, I know I already got my card and I got another one. Has this ever happened to you? And I was like, oh my gosh, it just happened to me. So curious if any of y'all uh, got extra cards. All right. Then I did my eight off of 40. So I've got my L'Oreal, my two Cottonelle, and the three CoverGirl. I used uh, the L'Oreal coupon, the three CoverGirl coupons, my two Cottonelle coupons. Um, there's my digital for the L'Oreal glitching. There's my eight off 40. I used my Care Pass and $8 in extra bucks. And my subtotal was zero because that one got reduced down. I earned back the $2 extra buck for the L'Oreal Elvive, the $9 extra buck for the CoverGirl, and the $5 extra buck for the Cottonelle. And then I did that last transaction because I got another two off 12 that printed for me on my receipt. So I grabbed a whole bunch of stuff actually. I did the gain uh, and Tide Pods at three by the three smaller size laundry products. I got the two Axe Body Wash, the three CoverGirl, and the two Sally Hansen. You don't see the one I picked up because it rang up for $10. And I was like, oh, this, it was in the wrong spot. So I ended up running back, holding up self-checkout. There was nobody waiting. I had the cashier take off that $9 one and I grabbed one of the Insta Dries. I, there was no products in my store for $5 or under that qualified for the Ibotta rebate. So I ended up grabbing the nail polish for $7.29, which after I left, I was like, okay, you could have grabbed a $4.19 product and not gotten an Ibotta rebate, but instead you grabbed a $7.29 product, which was $3 more to get $1 back from Ibotta. <laughs> so I ended up paying $2 more anyways. Ugh. That will be something my girls will use anyway, so it's fine. Um... So coupons, I used the $2 off the Axe, the $3 off the CoverGirl. Then all of my digitals came off for the laundry. My $3 instant coupon off of Sally Hansen and my two off 12, your next purchase. I used $36 in extra bucks to pay for all of this stuff and had a subtotal of $3.45 because that was like $3 more than what I had thought it was since I grabbed a product that was said $4.19 and it rang up for $10. Uh, so $3 back for the Axe, $9 back for the CoverGirl, 
$5 back for the three laundry products and $6 back for the Sally Hansen. So let's talk about this. So I used $49 in extra bucks to pay for everything, plus my care pass, which cost me $5. And then I had subtotals of $12.96. So I paid $66.96 for all of these products. I just showed you $47 in extra bucks that I earned back. And then I submitted to Ibotta for a total of $12 back. So I got eight back from the Mederma and then $4 back for the Sally Hansen. Then I submitted my receipt to Fetch Rewards. First of all, the Axe only gave me $2. It did not give me both of the bonuses. And I am not going to correct my receipt for that because last time it missed products. They fixed it, but then took away like the other bonus. When I went and got Klondike bars, we had to spend 30 at grocery stores, earn back 10 in Unilever. And I had 75% back on Klondike bars. They missed three of my Klondike bars. So I got back the $10 for spending 30 and I got back three packages, two packages of the Klondike bar. So they owed me three at 75%. It was the biggest mess I have ever gone through trying to correct the receipt. They said they fixed it. They did not fix it. What ended up happening was they ended up giving me the 75% back on all five packages I bought and then took away the spend 30, earn 10. Uh, it was such a complete mess. I ended up filing six or seven tickets. Finally, I was getting so frustrated. I was like, Jody, you just got to stop. You just got to stop. Like couponing should be fun. Rebate shopping should be fun. If you're not having fun, either don't use the app or let this go. And I was like, this is the last ticket I'm filing. And if they do not correct it, I'm like just not bothering anymore. It is what it is. And they did not correct it. They kept coming back and saying, nope, you got the correct amount of points. I sent them screenshots of her. It was just a nightmare. It all worked out in the end because then I had other things where they credited me more than I should have been credited. So it all worked out, but I'm not correcting that and have them give me a dollar back for each one and then take back the two dollars for buying two. So I'm just not doing it. So I only got back two dollars for the axe. On the Cottonelle, it did pick up my retail value of $16.49, but it only picked up that I bought one product. <laughs> So I did correct that receipt. I am expecting that they will give me the $3.50 for that. So I'm counting $5.50 back on Fetch, although I don't have the $3.50 back because I'm waiting for my receipt to be corrected. So all in all, I earned $64.50 from this haul between ECBs, cash rebates for my Bata, and Fetch rebates. It makes my cost $2.46. If I went to grab that more expensive product, <laughs> that was an extra $2 on the Sally Hansen, I basically would have had a freebie, but that's fine. I'm like $2.46. I got six things of laundry, two big packages of my favorite toilet paper. I'm super duper happy with this haul and my girls will be so excited to try those new Sally Hansen products. So there you go. That is what I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, Make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much and I'm going to see you again soon. Bye.